Hi, I'm Alex Paul, Marketing Director for Globe Tech, your power partner. And this is the first of a series of modules on power supply basics. It's intended for laymen and business professionals who are interested or need to understand power electronics, but don't need a full technical background. Basically, you want to be able to nod in the right places and understand what's important in a conversation with an engineer or some other professional talking about power or electronics. This module is specifically about power supplies, and it's very basic, so if you know what a power supply is, or what AC and DC power are, you can skip this and go to the second module, which explores the types of AC power supply, or the third module, which talks about DC power supplies and their variations, or farther up the chain where we talk about power architectures, we talk about alternate power sources, uh, the needs for powering lighting systems and such. But this module is specifically a short introduction on what is a power supply and what's so important about them. Essentially, a power supply is a device that takes electrical energy and converts it from one form to another. In some cases, the power supply may actually provide power, as in the case of a battery or a solar cell or a generator. But in most senses, when people talk about a power supply, they're talking about the electronics that go into a system between either a battery and your device, or the wall and your device, or some other source of electrical energy and your device. Now, everything on this table is a power supply of one form or another. As I mentioned, solar panels, batteries are more sources. In the case of this, this is actually an intelligent battery that has built-in charger and uh, fuel gauge electronics, so this is actually a self-contained power supply and battery storage system. They're becoming very popular nowadays with the expansion of uh, embedded intelligent systems and smart electronics and complicated uh, motorized devices. You need power and you need smart power in order to run it. So that's what power supplies do. They provide the power to run the systems because what comes out of the wall may not necessarily be what your device needs. Ditto for what comes out of the battery or what comes out of the solar cell. So a power supply can be uh, what they call open frame. It can be enclosed. It could be a chip scale power supply. It could be a non-chip scale, but very, very small. Or it could be a demo power supply, in this case, where it's actually laid out wide so you can see the components that were used, because in this case it was used for demonstration purposes. So every power supply has got some certain basic aspects to it. There's some type of conversion electronics that may have involve uh, transformers, inductors, or some other magnetic technology, and we'll cover that in a later module when we talk about the components, but usually when you uh, see a piece of board and there are big little ca big cans like this and wires wound around it, odds are it's a power supply. So now, for example, AC power supplies take the alternating current out of the wall and turn it into the direct current that your device needs. Most electronic circuitry operates on direct current, which is actually what comes out of a battery. The energy comes out of the battery, goes to the device, and goes back to the battery in a closed loop. Uh, alternating current actually creates a wave form of energy that is more easily uh, changed in either uh, power levels or voltages to allow uh, more flexible management of that power. So in one way, for example, transmission, the higher the voltage, the farther the electrical uh, power can travel with less loss and so AC it's easier to raise the voltage to the high levels to transmit long distances which is why it beat DC out as the way of transmitting power across the country. Now a power system changes that electrical current from in the case of I said AC 110 volts to the device. Most devices use relatively low voltages of DC. For example your cell phone may operate on around 6 volts 9 volts, and that's just what goes into the device. Within the device, there will be separate, very small power supplies for the camera, for the display, for the uh, LED lights, because each of the devices in your product need power of a certain type, and it's usually of, measured in a voltage. Now, as I said, AC is alternating current, which is more of a waveform of electrical power, and DC is more of a straight flow of electrical power, and that's AC and DC. The 
waveform can vary in speed, and that's the frequency. Now, in the case of uh, voltage versus current, as I said, you know, you've got uh, the voltage and you've got the current, but what are they? The voltage, you could look at it as if uh, electricity as water. Voltage is the pressure, and current, it actually does apply as to water, is the current, the amount. So, for example, you could be uh, subjected to a bathtub full of water if it was just simply tipped upon you. The pressure would be relatively generally low because you're getting the entire amount of water in a single flow in a relatively large uh, frame. Whereas if I took a glass worth of water and I forced it through a pinhole at high pressure, I could cut your arm off with that. Water pressure versus water volume. And that applies to electricity as well. So a power supply takes the electricity from the wall or from a battery, changes its pressure, voltage, and, well, it can't really change its current if it's a case of a battery, but it can regulate the current. In other words, allow less current to come through because, of course, what's coming out of the wall may be too much for the device, like trying to drink from a fire hose. So the electronics are designed to step down the power, as it were. Sometimes you may have multiple sections of power within a device. I will show you an example. This is an LED light emitting diode. It's attached to a large heat sink because this is a demo. That's actually where this power supply comes from. This is the demo power supply for this LED. You see they fit together like that. So now this power supply drives this LED. But this power supply actually takes another voltage coming in to convert it to what this LED needs. So, I need an additional power supply to then, oops, wrong plug, plug into the power to get the light to function. I remove the external power, the light goes off. This external power was generated by yet another power supply. So this power supply takes the AC, you see the plugs, and converts it in this case. And it always says right on a power supply what it does if it's a packaged supply. This puts out 12 volts. That's why this is relatively large. This is obviously just a general 12 volt power supply. It wasn't optimized for this system. So then this takes the 12 volts and converts it to the probably 3.3 or might be 5 volts that this device needs. Now the important thing with an LED, which I'll address again in the later module on solid state lighting, is that it takes a special kind of uh, power to drive based on whether it's a voltage driven or current driven. In this case, it's a current driven device, and I'll explain that difference, as I said, later on. Just remember voltage is the pressure of the power and the current or the amperage is the flow, how much electricity is there. But remember, the electricity has to be converted from one form to another in order for the various devices to work. So that's our basic module on power supplies, what a power supply is. We know that a power supply takes electrical uh, energy and changes it from one type of voltage to another, can restrict the amount of current coming through, um, and in some cases can actually increase current by using storage technology called capacitors on the board to uh, literally uh, store it as if you were saying taking a deep breath before blowing out uh, candles. Uh, so, as I said, I'm Alex Pault uh, with Globetech, your power partner. Visit us at www.globetech.com and uh, we'll be more than happy to help you solve your power issues. Thanks.